Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my channel. Today we do a quick video on how I do zenithal painting or like sketching with mecha colors. We will see in mecha colors three parts paint and one part thinning sauce. Also a quick note, the airbrush cleaner, you should mix it one is to one with water. We prime with mecha black primer and then we'll are painting all mecha colors in this video. We start with the phantom gray. This color is a must have, especially for Gunpla, because it's the semi exact color of most inner frames. I thin this three parts paint, one part thinning sauce, roughly, and then mixed well and then painted on top and around the side areas of the model. Some painters go straight to white paint, painting on top of the model, giving it a zenithal effect, a zenithal look. But I do like using intermediate color, like for this one, the phantom gray will serve as our like a transition intermediate color in between the lighter grays or the lighter white color and the black primer. Basically, the intermediate color, the phantom gray here, is a way so that you don't have to really control your airbrush. Like, you just, you have good transitions even if you don't have the skill to like control the paint flow of the airbrush. Painting the phantom gray around the sides and the top areas of the model will give you a, some like black areas underneath the skirts or underneath the armpits and, and then areas like that. So it, this gives you like more volume instead of just like painting over black primer. So it's, it's I highly recommend this technique and this undercoat for miniature painting even for gunpla. I applied the phantom gray in two thin coats making sure to let dry with a hair dryer in between coats. Again, this color is a must-have in the mecha color range. It's perfect for the inner frames of Gunpla and it's really nice on zenithal painting on miniatures. Now we paint with mecha greasy. I You could paint, like basically you could paint with white already over the phantom gray, but I like giving a base color for my lighter colors like white, ivory, and yellow with an intermediate like gray or brown so this gives a smoother transition in terms of of the transition between the white later and the phantom gray and the black area so it's basically a cheat code of some sort so that you don't need to have the skill to really control the paint flow or the airbrush and you get nice transitions of course you don't need to buy the grazy you could practically mix the phantom gray with the white gray later so unlike the phantom gray earlier we're painting the grazy around mostly on the top areas of the model maybe like i'm not familiar with the degrees but it's like semi two o'clock degree angle or not three so basically 130 degree angle in terms of the clock so you get a very nice highlight on top on the top areas of the model you get the phantom grays on the sides and of course if you look at underneath there is still black primer so basically we have a medium gray phantom gray on the sides medium gray on the top and black under sides so we have good volume with the models already now we paint with mecha white gray the difference with mecha off-white off-white is warmer this one has a bluish tint to it so it complements our phantom gray and gray z better than off-white so i thin the mecha white gray a bit differently it's like four parts paint and one part thinning sauce and then i'm painting really small areas mostly on the face here and on the other model it's mostly on the hair and top areas of the armor so it's controlling the airbrush a bit more so if you want if you don't have like the experience or the skill yet to control your airbrush you could practically hand paint a white gray paint over the top areas and some some armor parts that you want to have highlights so we chose this technique the zenithal like zenithal effect technique because these are vampires they'll have like red armors which is which looks great over white or gray 
primer instead of painting over black and if you've noticed the skin you just need to do a few a few glazes with inks and and thin glazing with thin paints and you'll get to produce the vampire skin color instantly so this is the fastest way to paint the vampires in my opinion instead of like building up um, light colors on top of a black primer obviously i really like this technique especially for army painting because painting over white or gray is so much faster than painting over black and next video we will we'll try to use vallejo indian ink so that we'll get to experience how to use these paints so that's it we're done i hope you do consider joining the channel it and join our discord community also do like share comment or subscribe it helps to grow the channel so much saludos hi i'm don welcome to my channel